Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you something neat about uh, photographic lenses. I am in a unique place, unlike anybody else. Trust me, it's not a place most people want to be. Where I have a uh, unique and deep understanding of field theory and uh, definitely more experience with lenses than anybody else on YouTube and most of the top 10 combined or top 20 combined. It is the case, let's learn uh, something important. There are four things that every lens is designed. There's a lot of qualities of lenses. People that only talk about lens resolution or how sharp is it. You know, how sharp is that lens? How sharp is it? How sharp? You know, like that's the only thing that makes up the qualities of an awesome lens. Here's some shots today. I was taking at the 50 to 140. There was a uh, car accident, and I happened to be at the camera store, and I rushed across the street, took some pictures. Um, RPGB. There are four characteristics of the pure optics of any and every lens, not only that they're designed for, and, you know, many times they fail on one of these four different levels, if not more than one, and uh, there's two properties of the actual aperture. Um, now, I've gone down a list of micro contrast, color saturation, yada, 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 but everything in lens design, as far as the qualities that emanate from these uh, four characteristics of pure optics in every lens ever made, um, they all emanate from these four characteristics. One is resolution, which almost everybody knows about, and that's all they ever talk about. Number two is phase, and uh, this is actually how the phase of the light, given the specific frequency, how it actually uh, arrives at a specific focus point, either in the same place at a different time, or in a different time in the same place, and this is phase. This is actually how uh, phase detect, like on mirrorless cameras, how we actually uh, arrive at an autofocus system is a phase detection. But there uh, is also, it's called electromagnetic retardation, as so far as uh, light frequency, and uh, where that light actually arrives uh, through a lens and ultimately shoots out the rear of the lens, the rear element. Uh, number three is gain. Most people think of how fast is a lens, you know, f, f2.8, f1.4. Of course, that's the f-stop. And t-stop is a true light transmissive power of the lens. And you can have like a hundred different lenses that are all f1.4, for example, but they have completely radically different uh, transmissive powers. A lens that has four elements at f1.4 has a lot more gain over a given period of time than, uh, say, another lens that's f1.4 that has eight or nine or ten elements in it. Doesn't matter how perfect those optics are. Glass is an EM retardation capacitor. Glass is back, actually is a capacitor, too, by the way. This is the reason why um, old glass dishes, before they redesigned them with ingredients and additives, would explode in the microwave. They'd actually reach their point of capacitance. You ever remember when you were younger? You have to be old enough to remember this, and it wasn't that long ago. You think that, well, the bowl just got hot or something, or the stuff got in it got hot, and that cracked the bowl. No, uh, what happened was is that the glass was not designed specifically for microwave use and the electromagnetism used to actually heat up the food is also charged as a capacitor in that glass and when the glass reaches full capacitance it explodes. Same way capacitors explode uh, inside uh, speed lights. Uh, you've ever heard capacitors explode, it will uh, make you pee yourself, it will uh, scare the piss out of you. And number four is bandwidth. How a lens... I know Yannick is watching this video because he's so interested in stuff like this. Uh, a few other people. Bandwidth. The transmissive power from the near-end spectrum to the far-end spectrum of light. The, uh, some really heavy elemental uh, lenses that have 23 elements and they have bad washed-out blues. Bad issues with washed-out blues. I mean, you could shoot a blue wall and it'll come out looking muddy because there's so much glass in there. Even if it's an awesome glass, awesome uh, glass elements in the lens, it'll still come out with washed out blues. So you have RGB, uh, resolution, gain, and, um, excuse me, resolution, phase, uh, gain, RPGB. Resolution, phase, uh, gain, and bandwidth. Um, a phase has to do with uh, the light and how it actually shifts due to the frequency through the lens. Uh, the reason that a lot of lenses are doublets, which means one lens immediately after another, 
is to reshift or re-steer the uh, the uh, near end spectrum, a uh, blue end spectrum of the light, uh, to coincide with the arrival of the red end spectrum. We'll you'll see uh, longitudinal and axial chromatic aberration is because of phase. Okay, you see, red light has totally a lot less capacitance than blue light, and when it passes through the glass, it doesn't matter how good the glass is or who makes the damn glass. When a blue glass, when blue light passes through glass, the the actual glass itself puts the brakes on that light, and it causes it to pass out the back end of the glass at a different point in time with a different vector than it does red light, uh, which has less capacitance. This is why as you travel towards the blue end of the electromagnetic spectrum, while well, you can get burned and sunburned on the red end of the spectrum, towards the blue end is where it will start to penetrate your cells and like, you know, it will screw you up really fast, really quick, or, you know, you go keep, go keep going on further, it will kill you very fast. And uh, when the light passes, the, and lens designers have a bitch of a time designing lenses to be perfect. So when people bitch about resolution, tell them that this is just one aspect. And each one of these four different aspects have several subdivisions of importance. Micro contrast is underneath both phase. It is also underneath bandwidth. Okay, so micro contrast actually falls underneath uh, two two different categories. And there are a lot of other people talk about the ultimate rendering of the lens. Everything as far as how a lens is rendered, you know, a sharpness, the chromatic aberration, the micro contrast, all these different things, just like, uh, you know, uh, a la -di da wine sniffer will say it certainly has a certain bokeh, a, a bokeh, <laughs> excuse me, smells like honey, it smells like molasses, you know. You know, all these wine sniffers are able to identify what year it was made and where it was made and how it was made. It's like, you know, oh my God, how do they do that? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm the lens sniffer uh, of uh, wine sampling. Uh, but they all fall underneath these four criteria of the pure glass itself. Resolution, phase, gain, okay? Because a 1.4 does not mean it has the exact same uh, transmissive power as another 1.4 or another 1.4, or another 1.4. You know, five elements does not transmit the same uh, light with the same gain as another lens that's also a, a 1.4 uh, with, you know, seven or eight. And I'm not talking about just T-stops versus F-stops here, okay? Bandwidth. How a lens actually handles certain bandwidth. You'll notice some lenses have a shift towards the red. Some lenses have a shift towards the blue. Lens designers actually play with this stuff by adding stuff to the glass to make the, the lens have a certain quality, a characteristic. If you add too much of one ingredient versus another, then this is the difference between, you know, spitting out, you know, somebody with uh, some sort of mental defect instead of, uh, you know, some genius just by changing a few ingredients. People think that, gla you know, it's just glass lenses and they're, you know, there are so many different additives that change the dielectric permittivity and magnetic permeability of lenses, it would blow your freaking mind. I mean, you could have a gigantic phone book, and it still wouldn't cover, and each page would just list the hundreds of different types of additives to glass, and it still wouldn't even scratch the surface of the different ways that you can make glass. What you can add to it, how you can cook it, how you can cool it, I mean... It is absolutely unbelievable, the different ways. You, by the way, one of the secret things of uh, Zeiss lenses is that they add lead to uh, the lenses. And there's, uh, there's all sorts of uh, dielectric uh, uh, chemicals and compounds that are added to the, the lenses to change the resolution, the phase, the gain, and the bandwidth. Uh, the second aspect is strictly due to the mechanical bokeh or to the iris, i.e. the aperture. And this gives you the A, bokeh qualities of the lens, its characteristics, and the shape. You know, uh, this is the reason why they make rounded aperture blades versus straight edge aperture blades. Or, as they figured out quite uh, a few decades ago, the more aperture blades you make, even if they're straight edge, then the rounder it gets. You can make a thousand little straight lines and it'll look from a slight distance like a perfect circle. So even if they're straight edge, it could still, if you add enough aperture blades, which is what some of the Russians do. If you see some of the Russian Zenit lenses, I mean, you look and there's like, oh, shit, there's 30 aperture blades in this thing. 
So that's the other aspect of a lens, but that is not related to the glass itself. That is related to the pure iris or aperture. So if you can remember those four things, every aspect or characteristics of a good lens falls under four categories. Resolution, a phase, a gain, and bandwidth. Res RPGB, resolution, phase, gain, and bandwidth. I'm sure that many of you were not interested in learning that dry, boring information. But I can also tell you this that knowledge is power and there's nobody else out there on YouTube or anywhere else that is talking about this or basically even, they don't even know about it. Does this have anything to do with improving your photography? No, but knowledge is power and some people actually like knowing things. You know, some people actually like staying stupid. Some people actually like learning things. So, um, I hope you learned something because those uh, are the secret four properties of lens design that affect every quality, either be it good or bad, of every lens ever made. Period. Resolution, phase, gain, and bandwidth. Okay? Like this video, you can drop me a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff, tell me to lose weight, whatever the hell it is you want to say. Catch you later.